Hey, it's Eric Manders, and I chose for the Media Review Project to do T.I.'s Trap Music album. Hey, man, I still got the thing. Hey, this is some trap. Come on. This ain't no album. This ain't no game. This is trap. Trap music. This ain't no album. This ain't no game. This is trap. Trap music. This ain't no album. This ain't no game. This is trap. Trap music. This ain't no album. This ain't no game. This is trap. Now, this album was probably... Probably Tip's best album. I mean, its first week, it debuted at number four on the Billboard 200 chart and sold 109,000 copies in the first week. He also debuted at number two in the U.S. To, uh, top R&B and hip hop albums. Um, I mean, that's, that's, that's speaks for itself. I mean, he was only 22 years old. I mean, the man came with it. He's a, was ready and prepared and you know at 22 years old I mean he was young and was full of energies I mean you could tell just in some of the videos that he shot for the singles 24's was prime example a lot of energy I mean I'm from Georgia so of course I'm gonna be a TI fan I mean I'm also a young Jeezy fan but that doesn't make a difference we're talking about the album itself you know and for an album like this, I mean, it hit platinum in December of '03. Sold a one million copies worldwide by December of '03. It was released what, like, I think it was uh, August, August or September. I think it was August. But by by December, it had sold a million copies. So, I mean, that's says a lot. Now, my favorite part about this album was the fact that T.I. done a song called The King of the South. And basically self-proclaimed himself as King of the South and wasn't pretty was pretty much like how are you going to tell me I'm not? And believe, you know, that actually, that, he actually ran with that. And T.I. is still to this day the self proclaimed king of the South. So, if anybody is doubting this album, I mean, I'm not giving you much, but I am giving you a little, little sneak peeks of it. So, check it out if you've never listened to it. And, you, and if you don't like hip hop, then if you want to listen to it, I suggest to that you want to listen to the words, listen to what he's saying. Don't listen to the hip hop part. Just listen to what he's saying. Hey, here we go, pal. Okay. And that concludes the Media Review Project for Public Speaking. Hope you enjoyed it.